one of the greatest commercial cities in northern Nigeria is Kano, capital of the province of that name. At almost any time of the day, you will see laden camels plodding along the roads, bringing produce to the market or taking it to the railhead for transport to Lagos. The city itself is built on an open plain surrounded by a high wall in which there are 13 gates. Within the wall are many flat-topped dwellings of red mud and clay. The people, most of them Hausa, work mainly on the farms or keep livestock. In Kano, ancient things and modern things mix against a background of simple mud houses inside city walls that are hundreds of years old. Some of the houses are decorated with artistic designs. On their way to or from the market go the donkeys that share the work of transport with the camels and the bicycles. And to add to this picture of contrasts, there is the motor car. are another valuable source of income, and the drying and preparation of them for market provides work for a great number of people. The Hauser particularly is highly skilled in the making and grading of animal pelts, and the trading stations at Kano are usually well stocked with some of the finest skins in the country. Humped cattle, fat sheep and goats. At the railway siding are piled up hundreds of sacks of groundnuts waiting for transport to the clearing stations and docks. The export of groundnuts from Nigeria is considerable. To the ancient city comes the most modern means of transport, the aeroplane, bringing with it travelers on urgent business. There's a regular air route between Kano and most other parts of Africa, and air links between Africa and the rest of the world. The aerodrome near the city is large and efficiently run. It provides a quick and reliable service for both passengers and goods. The administrative buildings stand in an open space in the center of the city. The Emir of Kano, one of the four governing the province, leaves with a council to attend a meeting at the administrative offices. The Emir is a wise ruler and a much traveled man. On one of his many journeys, he visited the Lord Mayor of London at the Mansion House. The children at this Quranic school are learning to read and write. It's a little difficult at first, but the patience and understanding of the teacher gives them confidence. Very soon, they're able to write the simple characters. Kano children today have much greater educational advantages than had their parents. Always behind the scenes of industrial activity in the city is the mosque. Though modern methods and machinery may come to Kano, the beliefs of the people still derive their inspiration from the mosque. The shrine itself may decay, but the ancient faiths will endure for all time. 